Welcome to Flipped Classroom. Today's lesson is about transitions and how to connect the parts in your writing. In the book They Say, I Say, the author writes, the best compositions establish a sense of momentum and direction by making explicit connections among their different parts. What is said in one sentence or paragraph boasts up what is to come and is clearly informed by what has already been said. So you should think of each sentence as reaching out to the previous sentence and the sentences that follow, as if there's two arms that are reaching out to connect the ideas, so the ideas smoothly connect in your essays. There are three strategies for connecting these ideas. You can use pointing words, repeating key terms and repeating them with a difference, and including, a, and including transition terms. Let's take a look at pointing words. Pointing words are used to refer back to concepts stated in a previous sentence. The most common pointing words are this, these, that, those, their, such, and even the simple pronouns he, she, and it. Let's take a look at this example. Valerie was going to the fair. That place is one of Valerie's favorite spots to ride a Ferris wheel. So if you look at this example, the pointing word is that, which is referring back to the fair. So you've got this connection created between the sentences without being repetitive and continuously saying the fair, the fair, the fair, the fair. Another strategy is repeating key terms and repeating them with a difference. So connections are created when you have specific words and their synonyms are repeated throughout your writing. And this is called parallelism. Some of the most famous quotes have parallel structure. So their ideas connect and are memorable. Let's take a look at what JFK said. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. The following words are repeated. What, do for, country. President Lincoln used the same parallelism when he said, you can fool some of the people all the time and all of the people some of the time, but you cannot fool all of the people all of the time. Once again, he's repeating the word fool and people and all of the time. The sentences are parallel. They're repeating these key words, but repeating them with a different meaning. And the third strategy is using transition words or phrases that signal to the reader where your text is going and guide readers through their arguments. So it's important to selecting the transition term that really meets your specific goal in your essay. Transition terms are usually classified by their function. One group of transition terms serves as addition. This group functions as elaboration. This group of words serves as what words you would use before giving an example. And these words would be used before introducing cause or effect. If you're writing a comparison, if you're writing a comparison, you would introduce it with one of these choices, and if you're contrasting, one of these choices would work well. If you're giving concessions in your argument, you'd want to start with one of these words, and if you're concluding the ideas, one of these transition terms would work well. So keep in mind, the transition term you select is dependent on the function that is serving. So when revising your essays, make sure that each sentence reaches out to the previous sentence, and this will create smooth transitions in your essay. Thank you for joining me today in Flipped Classroom.